my friends and welcome to the life of Jeannie where I try to find joy in my life and hopefully help you find yours. For those that are new here may think that the flight attendant life is a glamorous life. Uh, but my friends on this channel already know that this job ain't glamorous. Sure we have our perks, we get to travel around the world, but it's it's a hard life. It's a hard life. So today we will be watching some videos lives of other flight attendants all around the world and let's take a look to see if it's similar to what i experienced let's go oh this is flight attendant training makeup yep we learned how to do makeup yep first aid we did through the slide <laughs> i hate that water drill oh that that was cold yeah the door Martial arts, yeah, we got training. Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't know there was a flight attendant walk. We didn't learn that in our airline. We didn't also do the fire one, but we should have. But yeah, everything else was exactly the same. Here's a quick day in my life as a flight attendant. I got called for standby, which means oh. I go sit at the airport for six hours stand just in case I need worst. to replace another flight attendant. I packed up three days worth of food and skirted on over there. Um, I switched my flats to my heels and then no one was there. I actually scored a super comfy chair to watch Netflix in. About halfway through, I fixed my scarf, made sure I wasn't looking raggedy. And Looks then so I saw a pilot playing the guitar. He was actually pretty good. And then I ate for five and a half of the six hours. If I'm being realistic, read Michael Todd's relationship goals happy because they didn't call me. And now I packed up all my stuff and I can go sleep in my own bed tonight. So um, yeah, see ya. If you guys don't know about this, for flight attendants, we have a shift called airport standby where we literally get ready. We don't even know where we're going and we wait at the airport from anywhere from like four to six hours usually. Yeah, this is just in case a flight attendant doesn't make one of the flights, then the person that's on standby will take their shift. So it, all the shifts are covered. But yeah, that, that shift really sucks. It was like the worst shift ever. Oh, the doors. Every flight. Look at her heels. Oh my gosh, look at the stilettos. <gasps> My heels are. Oh! <laughs> they are as heavy as it looks. Oh! oh. <laughs> to be honest, I maybe opened and closed that door two or three times during my entire career. So. Things you might not know about flight attendants. Ooh, Some of us go through like eight weeks of training and none of it is on customer service. It's all <laughs> medical stuff and emergency management. A lot of us don't live where we work. I had a friend who lived in Puerto Rico and was based in LA. True, yes, yeah. we fly for free, uh -huh. but we don't have free tickets to give away. That's reserved for immediate family members or one person we might choose. Yes. When you see us, it's probably not the first flight we're taking of the day. Sometimes we take two, three, even four flights a day. Sometimes even five. What? So half the time, we don't know Which where the heck we are. Work for? Typically, yeah. we don't know the flight attendants that we're flying with. We usually don't even meet them until that day. That's true. Unless we're based there, we don't know anything about the airport that you're at. So if you ask us where to find baggage claim, we're just going to look up at the signs. Flight attendants are trained to spot suspicious activity. So when you're boarding the plane, we're not just saying hi. We're checking you out. I don't know which airline that was, but it's a little different from the airline that I worked for. Uh, we did get service training. It was a full week because they're like top notch on service. Um, but yeah, definitely safety is number one in training because that's actually our main main role of, as a flight attendant is to get you from point A to point B safely. When it comes to everything else, it's pretty accurate except for the flights five flights a day oh my goodness the most we ever did was a uh, two so flying to a destination and then flying right back so wow five flights tell me you're a flight attendant without telling me you're a Ooh, flight attendant not disturb sign on your knob yep. doors locked Double lock. phone and plugged I, do I always need pens curtain mm -hmm. set Mm -hmm. All the pillows, please. I love pillows too. EZZ and earplugs because it's probably 6 a.m. and I just got off work. Oh, those, yeah, 
that's normal except for the unplugging of the phone. I know some people do that because they don't want to be bothered and they want their sleep, but I would never do that just in case someone needs to reach me in case of an emergency. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So other than that, it seems pretty accurate. It's now, it's now, this is our emergency now, training. calmest flight attendant I have ever seen. I was like, stay back! Come this way! During my training, but anyways, yeah, that is, if you have to evacuate the plane, that is kind of like what you guys will expect, so be ready in case of any emergencies. Just listen to what they're saying, even though sometimes it's kind of hard to, to listen to. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, hope you guys have a nice day. 